morning, brothers and sisters. It's Father Steve. I wanted to come to you again and uh, during Holy Week. And I hope again to come to you as long as this uh, pandemia lasts. I want to make, uh, I want to read to you just a verse set of the Bible from the Gospel of Matthew. They all, all the Gospels kind of have the same wording. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. You know, the, uh, the grand finale of the fireworks is something spectacular. It's, it's light and sound and uh, shapes, and colors, all, all a barrage of all the fireworks almost all at once. It's really quite something to see, quite something to hear. The um, passion of Jesus is sort of a, a spectacular, but a sad and negative one. We have all these evils, there's darkness, there's inhumanity, there's cruelty, there's criminality, there's murder, there's murder for hire, there's suicide, the breakdown of the judicial system, and on and on and on. It seems to be a grand finale of evil, culminating in the big explosion, death and the darkness of his tomb. The passion of Jesus seems so final. And in, in a certain sense, it was uh, the Christ is dead. But the Gospels go on. They don't end there. There's more to be read. And there's the passion of Christ is not the final word about Jesus Christ. The final word about Jesus in the Gospels is going to be another spectacular, a spectacular grand finale of life and light, of good things, of friendships rekindled, of forgiveness given, of hope, um, of consolation, of life, as I said. And that final word, we won't hear this just yet. We will in a few short days on Easter morning. So well, I want to ask you to enter into the, the sadness and the darkness of these days of Holy Week, but not in that way that says, this is all there is. All there is is pandemias and, and terrorisms and financial collapse, and, but enter into it knowing that the passion of Jesus Christ is not the final word about him. The Bible goes on, and the final word is a beautiful word. It's Easter morning. Once again, brothers and sisters, I take my, my leave of you on this Wednesday of Holy Week. I want to thank all those on the front lines in any way that you are on the front lines in fighting the, the pandemia, the, the coronavirus. Also, I want to assure any who have lost uh, loved ones through this virus, or uh, lost loved ones in this time, that. Our prayers are with you, and we, we hope that soon we will not have to be dealing with this, these matters in this way, and very soon. Let us all pray for that. God bless you.